depths of the soul where the fire burns bright, in the silence of our hearts where we seek the light, there lies a prayer that echoes through time. A prayer of sorrows, joys, and divine. As we journey through the echoes of eternity, for in the whispers of the wind and the rustling leaves, we can hear the ancient songs that our ancestors weave. In the valleys of despair and the mountains of hope, in the trials of faith and the battles we cope. There is a truth that stands unwavering and strong, a promise of redemption where we all belong. So let us lift our voices in praise and in prayer for the Creator who watches over us with care. Let us sing of mercy, of grace, and of love. For in His embrace we find solace from above, in the tapestry of life, woven with threads of gold, in the mysteries of the universe yet to unfold. There is a song that binds us, a rhythm that beats, a symphony of creation where all souls meet. And in the sacred silence we behold His grace. May the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be upon you and you entire family. I desire to pray for your life and your family, specifically for your children. I declare these powerful psalm and for each psalm I will offer a prayer. During this prayer you can find rest. You can even lie down on your bed and let these psalms bless your life and your family. Join me in agreement as we embark on this prayer. The Bible tells us that the world of God is like a sharp sword wielded with faith. So relax and listen to these holy words with me. You can even lie down on your bed and let these psalms bless your life and your family. As we become part of the divine tapestry, for in the echoes of eternity we find our place. O oh God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O oh God. See how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation so that Israel's name is remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagrites, Byblos, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the people of Tyre. Even Assyria has joined them to reinforce Lot's descendants. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like dung on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmona, who said, Let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, my God, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, Lord, so that they will seek your name. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed, may they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Lord God, in the shadow of adversity and the noise of conflict, we humbly turn to you, asking for your divine protection and deliverance from the enemies that surround us. As we navigate the treacherous waters of life's battles, we realize our dependence on your unfailing grace and strength. Teach us, Lord, to trust in your providence and find refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you alone are our rock and our stronghold, our shield and our stronghold in times of trouble. In your name we take refuge, trusting in your promise to deliver us from the snares of our enemies. Give us, God, the wisdom to distinguish friend from enemy, justice from wickedness. Help us to walk in the path of righteousness, guided by your light and strengthened by your spirit, so that we can face the temptations of the enemy. As we lift our voices in prayer, we declare your sovereignty over all the earth, knowing that you are greater than any enemy that can rise against us. May your mighty hand be over us, protecting us from harm and guiding us safely through the storms of life. In the midst of strife and strife, may your peace reign in our hearts, calming our fears and giving us courage to face the challenges that lie ahead. Help us to be instruments of your peace, spreading love and reconciliation in a world torn by hatred and violence. Though the enemy may be all around us, we have recourse to your promise that you will never leave us or forsake us. Strengthen our faith, Lord, so that even in the darkest times we can trust in your goodness and mercy. We raise to you all those caught in the crossfire of war and conflict. 
praying for their protection and deliverance, end the violence and injustice that plague our world, and establish your kingdom of peace and righteousness. In your mercy, God, hear our prayer and grant us protection and deliverance. May your presence walk with us, guiding us safely through the dangers of this life and into the eternal peace of your kingdom. Watch over us, Lord, in times of struggle and trouble. Deliver us from our enemies. Give us peace and bless us as we navigate through the chaos of war and conflict. Cover us with your armor. Cover us with your light. Guide our steps, O God, in the path of justice. Protect us from evil. Give us strength and perseverance. Let your angels camp around us, a defensive wall. Let your presence go before us, a shield and a reward. Protect us from the wiles of the wicked and cruel. Guide us to safety in your infinite wisdom and rule. Cause the battles we fight aren't made of flesh and bone, but spiritual warfare in the invisible realm shown. Give us discernment to recognize the enemy's deceit. Strengthen us to stand firm in your truth and failure. Protect our hearts from fear, our minds from doubt. Fill us with courage, unwavering and pious. Let your light shine bright and dispel all darkness. In your presence we find refuge and harness. Grant us the grace to forgive our enemies and adversaries. Because they are only instruments in your great stories, teach us to love despite hatred and contempt. Transform our hearts in your reborn mercy. Father, we beg for deliverance from the horrors of war, for peace to reign, for justice to be restored. Heal the broken wounds, mend the torn ones. You need a use in love, your reverend children. May your wisdom guide our leaders in making sound decisions. May your compassion soften hearts found in humility. Put an end to the conflicts that ravage our lands. Let your kingdom of peace reign in your divine hands. Into your hands, Lord, we entrust our lives and souls. In your mercy we find solace and comfort. Protect us, deliver us in your redeeming grace. Protect us until we see your glorious face. As I kneel before you in reverence and humility, I seek your divine protection and deliverance from the turmoil and strife that may surround me. I, as I lift my voice in prayer, I also seek to understand the profound teachings that offer solace and wisdom in times of trial. Teach me to seek refuge in your unwavering love and protection, to find solace in the shelter of your divine presence. Grant me the wisdom to discern the forces of darkness and conflict that may seek to harm me, and the resilience to navigate through them with your guiding light illuminating my path. In the midst of uncertainty and fear, I turn to your teachings for solace and strength. Through the sacred scriptures and the timeless wisdom of faith, I find the reassurance that your love is a fortress against the storms of life, and your guidance is an anchor amidst the tumultuous seas of war and conflict. Teach me to be steadfast in my faith, to trust in your divine providence, and to seek solace in the knowledge that your protection knows no bounds. In the face of enmity and strife, help me to embody the virtues of compassion, forgiveness, and understanding, mirroring your boundless love and grace even in the midst of adversity. Grant me the discernment to recognize the signs of danger and the wisdom to navigate through turbulent times with courage and faith. Teach me to be a beacon of hope and peace amidst the chaos of war and conflict, extending a hand of compassion and reconciliation even in the face of hostility and division. In closing, I lift my voice in gratitude for the teachings that offer solace and guidance in times of trial. May your divine protection shield me from harm and your wisdom guide me towards the path of peace and deliverance from the perils of war and enmity. Amen. O oh God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O oh God. See how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation so that Israel's name is remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagrites, Byblos, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the people of Tyre. Even Assyria has joined them to reinforce Lot's descendants. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like dung on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmona, who said, 
Let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, my God, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, Lord, so that they will seek your name. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed, may they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the most high over all the earth. Compassionate God in the vast tapestry of humanity, you have woven together people of every nation, tribe and tongue, each bearing the imprint of your divine image. Yet, amidst the diversity of cultures and languages, we often find division and discord, fueled by fear, mistrust and prejudice. Today, we lift our hearts in prayer for the healing and reconciliation of the nations, praying for a world where love transcends borders and unity prevails over division. We acknowledge that you are the author of love and peace, and it is your desir that all nations dwell together in harmony and mutual respect. We pray for the softening of hearts and the breaking down of barriers that separate us from one another. May your love, which knows no bounds, flow freely between nations, bridging the gaps of misunderstanding and animosity. Help us to see the humanity in one another, to recognize the dignity and worth of every person, regardless of nationality. Protect us, O God, from the schemes of the evil one who seeks to sow seeds of hatred and discord among your children. Guard our hearts against the lies and deceptions of Satan, who seeks to divide us based on our differences, rather than unite us in our common humanity. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the subtle ways in which division can creep into our midst, and empower us to stand firm against the forces of darkness that seek to tear us apart. Help us to resist the temptation to demonize those who are different from us, and instead, to extend the hand of friendship and reconciliation. We pray for leaders of nations, asking for your guidance and wisdom as they navigate the complexities of international relations. May they seek the common good of all peoples, working tirelessly to promote peace, justice, and cooperation on the world stage. As we lift our voices in prayer, may your spirit move among us, inspiring us to be ambassadors of your love and agents of reconciliation in a world in desperate need of healing. May we be instruments of peace, sowing seeds of love and understanding wherever we go. Father, give us the courage to reach beyond boundaries. Embrace diversity with open minds and hearts for free. May we see beauty in our differences and similarities when we stand together in solidarity and unity. Protect us from the intrigues of the evil spirit. Who wants to divide, destroy, and conquer? Guard our hearts from hatred and bitterness. Fill us with compassion, forgiveness, and justice. Let your light shine in the darkest corners. It leads us towards love, empathy, and honor. Teach us to seek understanding, to listen, and to learn. In turn, overcome divisions and foster goodwill. Help us see beyond borders and nationalities. Recognize common humanity and equality. Let love be our guiding force our beacon in the night. It unites us in harmony and delight, inspire us to be ambassadors of love and peace, to build bridges of compassion that will never fail. Let love between nations be a beacon of hope, a testimony of your grace and love that you can deal with forever. Protect us from the divisive tactics of the enemy. Strengthen our determination to stand firm and free. Give us the power to resist the forces of hatred and fear. Embrace us with your love and draw us to yourself. Let love reign in the hearts of all, uniting us in compassion, tearing down every wall. Let your love transcend borders and barriers, fostering peace, harmony, and love in all cultures and characters. We ask for your divine intervention in bridging the gaps that divide us and fostering a spirit of understanding, compassion, and respect among all peoples, regardless of nationality, race, or creed. We thank you, Lord, for the rich tapestry of cultures, traditions, and languages that make up our world. Help us to celebrate and embrace our differences, recognizing that diversity is a gift from you, meant to enrich our lives and broaden our perspectives. Grant us the wisdom to listen with open hearts, to empathize with one another's struggles, and to extend a hand of friendship to those who may seem different from us. 
We also pray for protection against the forces of division and discord, particularly against the schemes of Satan, who seeks to sow seeds of hatred and mistrust among nations. Strengthen us, O Lord, to recognize and resist the temptations of prejudice, bigotry, and animosity, and empower us to stand firm in the face of divisive ideologies that seek to tear us apart. Inspire us, Heavenly Father, to pursue justice and equality for all people, regardless of their national origin. Grant us the courage to speak out against injustice and to work tirelessly for the rights and dignity of every individual, recognizing that we are all created in your image and deserving of love and respect. Bless the peacemakers among us, Lord, with the strength and perseverance to continue their noble efforts in promoting reconciliation and understanding between nations. Grant them your wisdom and discernment as they navigate through landscapes, and may their tireless work bear the fruits of harmony and unity. Grant us the grace to be instruments of your peace in our interactions with others, and may your love shine through us as a beacon of hope for a world in need of healing and reconciliation. In your holy and precious name, we pray. Amen. O oh God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O oh God. See how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation so that Israel's name is remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagrites, Byblos, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the people of Tyre. Even Assyria has joined them to reinforce Lot's descendants. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like dung on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmona, who said, Let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, my God, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, Lord, so that they will seek your name. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed, may they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Dear friends, this is the end of prayer for today. Remember that God will always protect us, guiding us through the storms of life with His unwavering love and grace. This psalm is truly powerful and serves as a beacon of hope and certainty in times of uncertainty and adversity. If you found this video meaningful and enriching, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future videos and continue to explore the wisdom of Scripture with us. Thanks to your support, we can reach more people with the transforming message of Psalm 83. I invite you to leave a comment under this video. Share prayers for your loved ones and reflections on the deep truths contained in Psalm 83. Together, let us lift our hearts in prayer and contemplation, asking for guidance and protection. Be sure to share this resource with your friends and loved ones so that more people can experience the magic and power of Psalm 83. Together, we can spread hope and inspiration to all who need the comforting presence of God. Brothers and sisters, as we say goodbye, may God's peace always be with you, guiding you on your journey and filling your hearts with His boundless love. Until we meet again, God be with you. Amen.